Sometimes all you want is just to save time and bulk edit your end cards. That's what we talk about today. How to bulk edit your end cards with TubeBuddy. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Now, if you've been on YouTube for long enough, you know that you've pumped out 10, 20, 30, 50, hundreds of videos. Sometimes you want to go back and edit your end cards, you know, just redirect people to other places. And you're just so fed up of doing it one video at a time. But did you know you can bulk edit your videos using TubeBuddy? Now, I'm gonna deep dive into how I can do that for you. But before we do this, I would like to thank my friends at TubeBuddy for sponsoring this video. TubeBuddy is a browser-based plugin that will help you optimize your titles, your descriptions, and your tags, and rank better on search. There is a link in the description down below. Use the code ALANSBUDDY should you wish to use any paid upgrades for a 20% discount. Okay, so this is the new YouTube Studio. Now, to bulk edit using TubeBuddy, you need to make sure that you have TubeBuddy installed. Now, to make that easier, go to alanspicer.com forward slash TubeBuddy. The link is in the description down below. You click install. It's a browser-based plugin that you can use on Firefox and Chrome and many others. And if you reload the page, you'll notice that it's installed. If you've got like a little TubeBuddy icon up here, this is your little dashboard, so it'll show you all the industry news, your milestones, and some quick links on the right-hand side. But what you're focusing on today is videos. Rather helpfully, at the top, you'll see TubeBuddy has this new little toolbar. Now, this is your video page, so you'll see all of the videos that you've uploaded, just like you normally do, right? But up here, if you want to bulk edit your end screen cards, you go to copy, update, or delete. So if, you want, if you've got a video that you really like the end cards for and you want to copy them to others, you get copy. If you had end screen templates already set up that you could select one from here, or if you had a video recently that you want to copy those end cards from, so let's say we want to use how to link to Twitter's end cards. I click on how to link to Twitter, click continue, and it will then tell me which end screens are on that video. So it was a subscribe link. It was a link to my free ebook at HD1 Web Design forward slash ebook. There is a dynamic element, which was the best for viewer, in which YouTube selects the best video for the viewer, and a playlist that I chose. Now I choose which like cards I want to bulk edit across all of them. So let's say I wanted to put all four on videos. I then select all four. It says select all four, or you can click select all then you click continue. Now, this is where you can either specifically apply it to a set playlist, a video ID, right? If it's all videos in a specific playlist, right? It allows you to pick which specific playlist you're going for. If it's a specific video, you copy in the video link, or you could go any videos that like are on your channel that use a specific phrase. So in this case, they suggest Avengers. So if I had any videos on my channel that had Avengers in the title or anywhere in the video, I can then link this to it. So that way, if you're doing themed, it will help link out and link back to your new video that is relevant. Or if you want to do all of your videos or some of your videos, what you do is you choose it to bring up all of your videos so you can manually select them or the last 50, for example and you click continue. You can then click the videos you want to apply it to. In this case, I'm using these two examples, but you can do all of them if you want. Literally all of them. You can do hundreds, thousands, all at the same time, but I'm just doing two. So you click two, click continue. It warns you that you are copying four elements to two videos, and that if you're happy, you have to click yes to continue. It also gives you the option to delete any existing end screens on those videos before applying the new ones that you're doing so, or if it already has an end screen element, you can tell it to skip it. So you could be adding ones to videos that have a blank end. And then you click start copying. Pops up this screen that tells you how well it's doing. So one of one, uh, one of two, right? It says these are the videos that it's processing. And over here, it's told you the video that it's doing. Also tells you the ID of the video, what it needs to do, and how it's doing it. 
and then when it's done it says successfully done and you click close and so if you go to the videos that you bulk edited to you'll see that there you go it's added all the cards for me so that's how you can bulk edit your end cards with TubeBuddy and save yourself a lot of time and frustration for more YouTube functionalities tricks tips and speed hacks I've done a playlist up here and of course hit that subscribe button for regular youtube tricks and tip tutorials hit the notification icon to be alerted every time i go live go out there start creating